And here we go. It is Tuesday, and Tuesday means Tron Lords Games Castle Keeper's Guide. That's what we're going to be working on today. We're going to finish coloring of the Roman marching camp. Then we're going to move on to the village. We're not going to finish the village by any stretch, and then we're going to finish the week with Necropolis. So, last stream for the week on this particular project. But ain't she a beaut? Isn't she coming along? I'm liking what I'm seeing. I really am. And I know that seems big headed. It's not intended to be that way, but you know, I, I, I sometimes I I come back to my own work, I look at it and I go That's that's looking okay, Faden. That's looking okay. You did okay. You push some pixels around and in the end they look like they belong together. Good job. And this is definitely, definitely, definitely in that camp. I don't always feel that way. Some projects, I push pixels around and I go, ah, I have disappointed, but this is not one of them. So, I am definitely going to jump into this here and now, but before we do, I want to give a special shout out to you Patreons out there. You are awesome people. You Twitch subscribers. You are fantastic. You are the gods and the goddesses amongst the greatest of pantheons. Thank you very, very much for your support. It, honestly, it goes a long way, really, to empowering me. And I can't stress that enough. So thank you. Let's jump into this bad boy, shall we? Now yesterday was kind of nuts in the stream. It was like, seriously, so so busy. It was actually surprising. I suspect today will be a little quieter. So let's just mosey on through. By the way, if you're wondering what that number is up there, that is the meter dimensions of a legionary tent. For the scale. Mm. And we have to do spikes, don't we? We have to do spikes. So, let's. Alright, so that's notes. Let's move on notes. Just way up the top here. And let's hide that so I don't accidentally delete it later on or merge it with my other layers, which I tend to do. And what do I want to do with this? Well, let's start simple. Um, do I want to do the symmetry tool? Do I want to mess around with the symmetry tool? It's a nice, super sexy tool. Now, you know what? You know what? We are just going to draw these by hand. All over. Just to get us warmed up. And I always like a little warm up. Hey, gentlemanly thoughts is a friendly dear sir. How have you been? I, I kind of started the stream a little bit early. It's going to catch out the regulars. But sometimes I sit here and I'm like, okay, I'm ready. I'm ready to rock and roll. And I'm, I'm just kind of browsing Facebook for the sake of browsing Facebook. So I'm like, I'm, I'm just going to start. Screw it. All right, here I've got to actually do some um, embankments coming up. So we'll, we'll give a little bit of love to that in a moment. Um, well, thank you for asking. I am doing okay. Got some um, thoughts around projects organized this morning. That always makes me feel a little bit better about things. I hate it when the projects sort of start mounting up. Um, by projects, it can be anything, right? I've got to do a podcast over here. I've got to, you know, get a guest on tomorrow night, special guest tomorrow night. Uh, I've got to, you know, do this map and this map. I've got to email this person. I've got to do this. I've got to pay backs. And when enough things mount up, 
yeah, I, I, I start to wig out a little bit. I'm wondering actually if I should be doing my uh, spikes like this. I almost feel like I shouldn't. I feel actually maybe I didn't lose my spikes. They're just under the collar. Huh, I must have drawn them on the coloring there. But it's like if legionaries come up onto the embankment here, then they're, they're fighting amongst their own spikes. Surely that can't be good. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm going to leave it like that, screw it. What is it, like a half page in a book or something? I'm sure it'll be fine. I kind of want to put little, um, by the way, uh, name plaques on these things. Uh, together with, like, you know, scale bars or, or some stats about each one. But I've got a funny feeling that that's what Troll Lord Games are going to be doing in their description. So we probably don't need to get too carried away. But wouldn't it be cool to, like, have labels for, like, the gates and such? Because they do have names, including this area here has names. Princess Stricker, good to see you, young lady. It's been a while. I hope you've been well. We have been having fun with crayons. We've been, uh, we've been coloring. Phantom Jen is here. Phantom Jen is eating lasagna. Yeah. Like a good lasagna. Is this, um, you're still out at work, I assume, Jen? So this is something that you're eating out on the road? What did I do? I turned my coloring off. That's what I did. Oh, I see. I see. Well, my comment about Yum Lasagna stands. Lasagna is good. Noise, noise, noise. Shaping up. Let's, uh, let's lavish a little bit more attention on this. What okay, gave it recon? Thank you for the subscription. I want to do but I'm kind of in the mood for just doing mindless mindless coloring things tonight kind of turning my brain off Good to see you. Good to see you. 
GL in the house. Well, get me weak arm wants me to lull him to sleep. I could do that, my friend. I could do that. Let me just get out um, the fourth quarter crop report. And um, I will start reading that out live on air. Actually, yesterday's stream had that effect on me. And what I mean is, like, at the end of the stream, I was buggered. I, I was just buggered. I, I went to bed not long after, even though it was still kind of early here. Is that worth me doing? I don't think it is. But I'm going to do it for the last stretch over here. Hey, Alex Dixon. Data entry, fantasy grounds. And those VT um, pieces of software do not make data entry fun, do they? You can't jump up here. Come on then. Have a go. Come on. There you go. Well, Wargaming, my friend, if we lull you off to sleep, then that's a victory. And I hope you have a great sleep and you make up for last night. We've got some nice, easy sounds of music going on in the background here. This is shaping up to be something good. Now, my plan is to wear the paths a little bit more. I want to bring this almost up to more of a uh, more exposed stone, um, even though there's no real reason for that. I just don't want to get it too saturated, you know? So I'm putting a little bit more up on the very, very light gray or even pure white. Just bring that notch up. And then I think, I think we're going to uh, draw some little tiny specks where we actually have some men drilling. I think we're going to do that. One thing that this doesn't have is people in it, and I feel like we should add some people. Um, we haven't got people in these, and I don't know if I really should be getting sort of too carried away with it, but at the same time, I kind of want to add one or two. But definitely here, even if it's just a bunch of dots. Tomorrow night, by the way, we are going to have Mark Reed from NobleDwarf.com with us. And I think we're going to be talking about his latest projects that he's got coming out while we map Necropolis. And in future weeks, assuming that we can get Pex and Wargaming Recon to um, connect, we will have Wargaming Recon himself in the channel with us. And we're going to talk about his forthcoming Kickstarter. So exciting times ahead. So actually, this one's for Wargaming Recon if he hasn't fallen asleep already. I think you mentioned the other day, or asked the other day, if on Forged in Fire, if they ever do non-swords or non-blades. Well, bugger me, ever since you asked that question, they did a bill, a, like a, a pole arm, um, and they did a morning, uh, they did a morning star, a mace. 
and I watched that one last night. So the answer is yes. Apparently they do. What reminded me of that was Alex Fixon sharpening the spikes on her bat. That's where we're watching them, by the way, is uh, Netflix. When we're in the mood just for this kind of mindless, easy type of show to watch, we, we throw that on. And it's entertaining. And yeah, so they do. They 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 do do they do do blades. Like do 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 do. They do blades mostly, like ninety five percent of the time, easily. But apparently, they do deviate as well. Clue bat. Clue bat. Both Ipex is here. But let me take a copy of what you've just said there. If I can. Why can't I copy that? There we go. Let's copy that. I'm actually gonna bring it up in my Discord and I'm gonna throw it in there for Pex to see. Right now. Yeah, okay, got the right place. Pex now has that message. <laughs> yeah, I just I just put it in my admin channel with him. It's good. So we'll do it, my friend. We'll do it. That'll be fun. Fun. That's the bingo. Let's try, let's try this, but I'm gonna come way away from the uh, the green here. Let's, ooh, that's quite large. Why is it doing that? There we go. There we go. Yeah, someone had to do it, didn't they? Someone had to do it. I'm going to try and bring up this clue bat, because I have no idea what a clue bat is. I guess i got to get a clue, huh? <laughs> All right, I guess, I guess you had to be there. Clue bat. Oh, clue bat, because players can be thicker than mud. Hey, it's Mary, and good to see you here, my friends. Please feel free to lurk away. I'm going to make this smaller. I don't like it. Let's make that smaller. Uh, you, 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 you're a little big boy, aren't you? You're a thick boy. Come on. Come on. Whoa, 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 don't like that. I don't know what show he's talking about, but it might be his Walking with Recon show. But to Stryker, I don't think they do mess holes, darling. They would eat in and around their tents as eight-man units. Officers would eat in their tents. That is probably a quartermaster and the likes, but um, there's there's no there's no mess hall. I 
Oh, actually, I've got to, I've got to get the proper little sort of paddock areas there. That's incorrect, what I've just drawn. But we'll fix that. Princess Strego, I don't think you were in the stream on Sunday um, when I was actually working on Necropolis and my Photoshop froze. Hey, think of it a cheer. I will go well in the coffers of the Senate. I hope you weren't cheering the fact that my Photoshop locked up. That was unfortunate timing. You missed it while going. Because I was actually, I was keeping the stream going for you. I was actually waiting on you because I knew you were coming back. And then I had to lock up. It was really quite unfortunate. And then I'm going to mute some of this harsh white, by the way. Because I want a hint of white in here, but I don't want it to be too strong. So anywhere where I feel like it, it, it's gone heavy, we will be coming back over the top of that. Probably with a little bit of mud. But I just wanted to kind of pull the palette away from the green just a little bit. Princess Drago, well, that's the thing, darling. Um, I had saved it much earlier. Because it's such a huge map, the temptation is for me not to save that regularly. Because it actually takes a while to save. But fortunately, Photoshop does kind of an auto um, save in the background for recovering files. And it saved me. I, I lost maybe five minutes of time. Maybe. So, that's good. But yeah, it was, um, it was a little worrying. Because I was like, oh man. Because I streamed for like, I want to say about two and a half. Maybe three hours. When it happened. I was like, oh, how much work have I lost here? I love the fact that you guys and girls have got it over there, by the way. You got your heights. Do you know what you're doing? Yeah, no, the, the auto save was, um, was killer right there. It really, it, it saved me so much time. It was a dick. Oh, what did I just do? I think I just moved something. Hold on a minute. What did I just do there? Did I minimize something here? Okay, so... What did I just... Okay. Oh, weird. Weird. Okay. When I guess you're a ham-handed little bugger, you um, do strange things. Uh, actually, I'm going to change my mind on this. 
gonna change my mind on this. Give me, give me my spray gun. Airbrush, there we go, that's what I'm looking for. Watercolor, splatter now, not watercolor, don't want that. Airbrush hard, low density, let's try that. There we go, that's more like it. So I'm just taking the edge of the white a little bit now. You can still see it bleeding through. I'm just putting a little bit of mud right over the top of it. It's actually not looking too shabby. That is not looking too shabby. Well, by golly, by gee, I think we're gonna do it. I think I think we might actually make a map out of this yet. Oh look, Alex Vixen, she's got like such a huge heart. For a bat-wielding homicidal maniac, she really does look after her own. Now, I can't give you VIP status directly, but Princess, we will look after you. You know that. If you request it, it goes in the log, and it will stay in the log until we catch up with it, okay? Yeah, I'm okay with this. I am definitely okay with this. I don't think I'm going to overdo it. She says overdoing it. But what I think I'm going to do right now... Is let's draw some men. It makes you a VIP. I actually don't know what benefits come with being VIP. I probably should. But that's why I rely on all of you, so you can tell me. Okay, um... Let me see if I can find this. I probably won't be able to. Princess is a VIP. That's right. Princess, you are a VIP. You know that. Oh, only for a week. Okay, okay, okay. Princess is also a founder. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna smooth your ego a little bit here, Princess. 13 months you've been a subscriber. 13 months. You, darling, are a rock star. I think you know that. You are a rock star. I love you. What am I looking for? What am I looking for? Oh, I, I'm, I'm looking for the project folder. Um, yeah, of course I don't have my working files in here. Of course I don't. Because that would just make sense. I have some of them. I have the castles that you guys and girls were sending to me. So that's good. But I don't have my marching camp reference material here. How do I not have my marching camp reference material? You know what? Screw it. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. We could do this without. For we are awesome human beings and we're capable of much. Should I do this with this brush? Yes, I'm going to do it with this brush. And we're going to go all the way down to like... Let's do two pixels. And let's see what happens here. We're going to do black. 
And I'm gonna see what this looks like, because if this looks like shit, I wanna get rid of it. Yeah, well, she did. She did reset everything. Oh, Phantom Gen. Really? Really? You gotta do that, Phantom? I feel like Jack and I really were lucky last night. Oh, you gotta do... Oh, you know what? Okay, if you're doing it, you're doing it. I'm not doing two. I'm not doing two. That that is not gonna happen. <sighs> All right, you gotta redeem wine, but I also do still have. Thank you. You you figured it. Oh, Phantom Jet, you're killing me. You're killing me. Ugh. Alright, we're doing it. We're doing it. I don't feel good about this. I don't feel good about this at all. Because Jack and I did two beans yesterday. And I think we did four beans between us yesterday. And we were good. Uh, Alright. Let's do it. Let's do it. Not bad. Spearmint. That's good. While I'm riding on the crest of the wave of a great tasting bean, I'm going to do war game from yesterday. That's how cocky I'm feeling right now. Yeah, boy. That's a good one, too. That's like cherry. Mmm, mmm. Yeah. In your face, suckers. Two good beans right there. That's a nice one. Mm-hmm. Mm. Both great beans. Thank you. That tasted awesome. That was those were two good beans. What's a troll storm? Uh, it's that like if someone comes in and you start filling with crap. Hey, Midwest Miniatures guys, yeah. Everyone, if you like miniatures, if you like miniature painting, hit Midwest Miniature Guy up with a follow. It costs you nothing. Hit him up with a follow, please. Go to his channel, follow him. He's a great painter, a bastion of the industry. Um, Midwest, if you don't know this, these are like the, um, oh, I forget the official name of them now, but these beans are 50-50. They can taste really good, or they can taste like crap, literally. They could taste like vomit, they could taste like soured milk, they could be really spicy. We've got some of them mixed in there. I don't know what I'm going to get each time. They're, one of these beans had Jack running off camera it was so foul believe me uh, so it's 50 50 when someone redeems a bean what i'm gonna get alex i'm so glad you're here i'm so glad you're here thank you i'm, I'm I, honestly because if i got that i wouldn't know what to do with it It's amusing for everyone else. It is not amusing for me. How do I want to do this? I don't think actually two pixels is going to do it. But let's try. Nah, I feel like maybe we need to go darker. Let's try it. Ow. You really don't want to try. 
Oh, do you? Do I, do I switch to a pencil? I'm not going to switch to a pencil. I'm a stubborn bugger. I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to zoom out, and we're going to check it. Check it for wheels. Oh, yeah, actually, that's going to look good. It's not going to show at the print size. <laughs> But come on, let's do a little bit of that. Let's do a little bit of that. So Alex Vixen says, it's easier for the... Go darker, Princess said. Okay. It's easier for the streamer to switch to follower sub only. Okay, okay. So I would go into my cloud bar and immediately stop all conversation except for followers and subs. Okay. Okay, okay. I'm prepped. Okay. Hey, Alice here! Hello! Alright, we're gonna go darker. We're gonna go darker. Bye. Doing this one. Let's see if this works. How about that? Look at that. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. That guy's out of place. So, um, Princess, was it Princess that just said that? Um, so here's the deal with this map. I don't know what Troll Lord is specifically going to do with it, other than they need the individual cells to put in a book. But I do want to talk to them about making individual cells available and the overall map. Honestly, I kind of want this on canvas. I think I'd have a lot of fun with that. But I need to actually clear that with them. Because there's certain... Like, you know, some clients hire me to get a map that they need for their purpose. And then I do merchandising outside of that. But there becomes a fine line, right? If they start doing their own prints, can I do my prints too? Probably not without talking to them about it. So, uh, I'll collaborate with them and we'll, we'll see what we can come up with. I'm sure we could do something. So, what have we got here? One, two, three, four. Let me actually, let me add this up. So, one, two, three, four, five. That's probably incorrect to do. We want four times 80. No, we want six times 80. It is six. So if we do six, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so if I actually come out a little bit further on this, 
each one of these columns is actually a cohort. So what we have here is one, two, three, four, five cohorts. Yeah, I'm not going to try and do a full legion. I don't. Well, do I do a full legion? Do I do the same on the other side? I could. If I did the same on the other side. And what we have there. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Approximately speaking, we got a legion. So that's a legion of men right there. Wargaming, yeah, you're there with me. You could see what I was shooting for. I was trying to make sure that at least I had my cohorts organized too. So I think we got like, I, I know they had a double strength cohort. Which maybe I should represent here. You know what, screw it. I'm going to do a double strength first, first cohort. And apparently the lineup discipline is not freaking awesome, but... I think we'll forget. We'll assume that they're falling into line. All right. Get the cohort commanders here with their entourages. We'll get the legion commander here. Screw it, I think that looks cute. I'm hitting save. I was thinking about sticking with the gravelly look because the brown blends in with the green, like over here. There's a lot of brown there, but do you see how it blends in with the green? So I'm probably, I'm, and actually I feel zoomed out like that. I feel like there's a little bit of mud bleeding through. So I was thinking about leaving it just like that. Also, also I want to point out, all of the tents are brown. So if I go too brown on this, I feel like we're going to start losing something and everything everything's going to start muting out. That's why I kind of threw in some gravel to try and actually get a little bit of a contrast going on. I think I'm going to leave them like that. Uh, but what I am going to do is twofold. Hold on a sec. Tempted to have one little guy just running away.
but I've actually done too many there. I need 11. I've done way more. Yeah, I've done. Hold on a sec. Hold on. Let's get rid of you. Let's get my eraser here. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and get rid of you. One, two, three, five. Let's get rid of you. So what do we got here? We got one, two, three. So I'm I'm confusing myself with my numbers now. I'm confusing myself. So we got one, yeah, two, yeah, 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 yeah. That should be six. That should be six. That's what's throwing me off. Shit. Really? That should be six. Ah. Okay. Okay. I'm on my own little bloody tangent right now. For something that does not matter and no one's going to see. Unless my numbers or the way I'm doing them is confusing me. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to get into latrines. Look, i got to be honest with you. I don't know if I'm going to go that far. So what have we got here? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then there's 6 times 6. So 1, 2, 3. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Damn it. All right. So one, two, three. One, two, three. And then... And that, that I've got to do with the same here. And we're going to start around in the corner. All right, so what have we got? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Cohort. One, two. No, right. Cohort. Cohort. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six cohorts. One, two, three, four. Oh, because one, two, three, four, five. Damn it! Because I had five on the other side. I was overthinking it. It's ten bloody cohorts. I'm such a freaking dope. I am. I am confusing myself. Dots are confusing me. Dots are confusing the crap out of me. Cohort 1, Cohort 2, Cohort 3, Cohort 4, Cohort 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Double strength. Done. Legion. Get rid of you. 
which is good because you're a little untidy. Good, and I like the gap in between the uh, wall there. That's a legion. And that's a total of, really, if we include that, 11. So we've got 11 little formations. The problem is I just drew this the other way. I just drew this. Well, yeah, I suppose that's English. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, so that's what. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and double strength. So this one at the front here is the double one. That's another legion marching out. I'm, I'm actually okay with that. Screw it. And we do need some cavalry, so I'm going to do that real quick. We'll do a couple of things. We'll pick a, la uh, a um, lavatory sort of area. We'll kind of just do a lot of brown in that area. Okay, I'm not going to get too involved. Um, I'm not going to get too involved. We'll be here all night. I want to stop moving on to that one. But I do want to actually get the um, auxiliary, uh, the, the horse, the horse area is done a little bit differently than everything else. Princess, what type of salad did you eat? Jack's threatening to uh, make us eat salads. I'm not looking forward to it. I tend to find salads pretty bland. Unless you're throwing a bunch of mandarin oranges or something like that on there. Nuts and cheese. And at that point, it's really not a salad. Okay. I think we're going to go with that. I think we're going to go with that. Oh, I said I was. we were going to do some latrines. I'm not even sure where they put bloody latrines in this type of thing. So 
So what are we what are we dealing with here? Um, Roman marching camp. All right, let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. Let's look through some images here. Um, to see if we can get any inspiration. By the way, this is not a marching camp. That's not a marching camp. Um, see if we can sort of figure out where they plopped down the poo ditch. Let's, let's open that one up. I like the look of that one. Let's take a look at that one as well. And that one. There they are digging out the poo ditch for you. All right, let's take let's take a let's take a butchers at what we just found. Berries, berries are always good. Feather is always good. Okay, so that's a model that someone made. Okay, no poo ditch there. Um, I'm not gonna watch a video. I don't know. Did they throw their poo over the barricade? By the way, this is a semi-permanent one. The, the fact that there's a stockade and everything, th this is something else altogether. I don't know. I don't know where they put their poo. Oh, that's a permanent structure. Right, you. We will figure it out, though. We're on the poo quest. That's not helping me. Yeah, this is... This is more permanent. This is, this is a fort, literally. But we've got, okay, so we've got a bath, tower, uh, oven, okay, okay, cool. Um, HQ, Granary Hospital, where's, where's the, latrine, next to the wall. Alright, so it was inside. Let's just pick an area. Let's pick an area and make a ditch. Let's do it. I, I don't think that they did do it outside. Well, we've just seen that they didn't. Um, because I think that would be a security issue. Because you're going to have guys coming and going all of the time. A marching camp was always inside hostile territory. But, like This is, we don't trust the area we're marching through. I, I think they would throw it to one side in here. Maybe we'll have four of them, you know? Yeah, definitely gross. Definitely El Grosso. Mm, yeah, we'll stick with that size. <laughs> I don't know, by the way, if they did actually dig a pit like this or what. I, I, I honestly don't know. talking about eating Jack. You can't eat Jack. I still need to harvest his organs. Jack is not on the menu, darlings. Not yet.
I doubt that they had four of them, but what the hell, eh, whatever. Jack's prepared a salad. Oh, greens, mandarin orange slices, you got me winning. Cranberries, almond slithers, feta cheese, splash of orange balsamic. I'm down. I'm down. Throw in a little bit of chicken in there. And I'll eat it. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna save this. I am gonna save this. Let's do it. Beautiful. I'm going to call that good. Uh, Princess Drake, I'm not going to get into the bathing area. I'm, I'm not doing it. I'm moving on. This is a marching camp. Okay, they're not setting up bath, bath houses here. They, they will... Like, they're literally... They set this up at night. And they redo it every night. They don't have a shower room over there. It's not, not on a marching camp. If you want to wash, you do it right outside your tent here. With you guys, you know? Every dude is doing everything he needs to do right here. Oh, I should actually have my little hotkey thing on again, shouldn't I? I, I uh, you know what? I keep forgetting to do that. It's not part of my routine yet. Let's do it. Okay, there we go. Get my little cursor going on so you can see where my pen's at. There, there, so there, there was like three different camps, okay? And you've got the permanent fort, uh, structures that would definitely have bathhouses, latrines, workshops, and that type of thing. Then you had the ones where they were occupying hostile territory um, on a semi-permanent basis. And they would have stockades and shit like that. And bathhouses and things like that. This is a marching camp. This is the one that they did every night while in hostile territory. So they would just dig up ditches and um, uh, create these um, berms, I want to call them. Uh, and they would throw down their spikes. And they would throw down their tents. And they're there for the night. Just the night. That's the important bit. All right, let's let's do this one next. Let's move on. I kind of like how pale these two maps are, by the way. Like quite a bit. I want to I want to pull back to that color palette. Lord Dalius, what have you been waiting for? You know, I'm, I'm tempted to actually get a baseline color in. Lighter than that, though. I really don't like colouring this way, but it was suggested by someone, and I, so I kind of want to explore it. Le village, the, the village. Yes, my darling. Well, we are definitely going to do the village tonight. 
And I think I think what I'm going to do is we're going to get our baseline colors down. Let's do that. Let's be really super crude with our baseline coloring. And then we're going to build on it, okay? Normally, I go kind of top down with my colors, not bottom up. But um, I am willing to try something a little new. Let's see how it goes. Oops. Well, it doesn't matter. This is all my foundation here. We'll get the uh, the river in there as well, of course. Tell you what, the drinks have been slow coming tonight. I don't know what's going on with the help around here. Oh, that's good timing, hun. You must have heard me. You look so cute with the bears on. Get in front of this camera. Get in front of this camera so they can see what Jack looks like with a bears on. Now get in here. You're too cute. Thank you, darling. <laughs> Look, darling, yes, I will take your word for that. Whoops. Of course, I lost my steady stroke the minute I was like, because that makes me crap myself. Oops, excuse me. Jack apparently suits affairs. Uh, okay, so this area here, this is our tannery, now a little expanded, so he's got a little bit of an industry going here, so let's, let's give it a little bit more rocky right there. And then one thing I'm going to do is we're going to start, thank you hon. We're going to start doing the uh, buildings, and I'm going to do the buildings on a different layer that have their own shadow assigned to it. Now, nothing I'm doing here <coughs> is final in any way. But I always like to get like a baseline foundation down that we start to build on. Uh, oh, this, this is doing this. Okay. Oh, they didn't go that way. Nope, let's take that back. This is going up the hill. This is the way. We'll get the river in here, and I think it will already start to take shape. He bought it for me almost like as a gag gift because we were both very much into Doctor Who. 
And um, it's actually been kind of something we like having around the house since. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to throw in a little bit over on the mountains and the rocky areas too. That will just help ground our general colour into a more rocky environment. Then we're going to definitely do our trees. Oh, there's the cave that Princess Drigger requested many moons ago. Yeah, trees on their own layer, houses on their own layer. Get a little bit of drop shadow action going on. I'm roughly following the contours of the hills here. It helps sort of kind of define the sort of the shadow areas that we're going to do later on. Rocky, rocky, rocky. I know we could have like hilly hills. Hilly hills? Hilly hills. Green hills is what I meant to say. But um, I don't want this side to actually be too green. I want it to be a little stonier because we've got mines and things like that up here. Right, we'll definitely, uh, we're definitely going to get the water in as well. There, there was a, um, where is he? Where is he? We had a rock do here. Here he is. This guy's our stone smith right here. Noise. And even if we are going to do some grassy hills, I'm still going to do a little bit more stone than I would normally do. Just let it bleed through. Okay. Let's do the water next. I'm going to hit save. I have not watched any Jodie Whittaker as a doctor. I had not heard that Christopher Eccleston was coming back. So, yes, I am. I actually stopped watching right after the first uh, Peter Capaldi. And I just stopped watching. We got out of the habit. Ryan Noir, I like your lurk, my friend. I like your lurk. I have not seen the Quarantine Dalek video. I'm out of touch. I'm just out of touch, apparently. Like, Jack and I were huge on Doctor Who for a while, and then we weren't. And I, I can't explain it. And I think it was the transition to Capaldi. I don't think Jack and I truly felt Capaldi at all. And I think there's probably a shame for him. Not that we, he cares about us. That's not what I'm saying. But um, I felt like he had great promise to be a great doctor. And I just, I don't know, it just did nothing for me. So by the time it got to Whitaker, I would already stopped watching. I, I don't know really why. Just life took over, I suppose. Other things came up. And in, every time that Jack and I are talking about, well, what show are we going to watch? We, we're we never talking about Doctor Who. Marlin's girl, Eccleston is doing a big finish. What's that mean? Yeah, Alex Vixen. That was the, uh, the impression I got. I, I felt like... And i got to be honest with you. Right around that time... I felt like Doctor Who in general had some really dodgy writing. It started to get very hit and miss. And I think that's what it was. I started to fall out of love with the writing of Doctor Who.
I made a mistake once of saying something like that on a um, Whovian forum thread. Oh my god, I felt like I got virtually lynched. They were not happy. Whovians get zealous in their passion for Doctor Who. Zealous. Oh, just an audio story. Okay. Hey, Pex! You're late, Sonny Jim. You're late. Uh, did we ever get um, Princess her one month um, VIP? Because if not, Pex, you're summoned. <laughs> Alex Vixen, I'm actually going to take your word on that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take your word on that. Yeah, like if I was to go back to Doctor Who, I think I would just jump in on the next one and I wouldn't try to recapture, you know? Unless the bug really got me and I felt inclined to start rewatching all the shows. I love Capaldi as the Doctor. I just think that I don't think the script was there for him. Yeah, Pex, this all happened while you weren't here and we were having fun, my friend. Trying something a little bit different with this water, by the way. I'm not going to tell you what, I'm just telling you that I'm doing something a little bit different. I just spluted. That ice just totally got me. Oh. Oh, I did. Oh, that's not good. Oh, I'm... I'm throwing bloody whiskey all over my face. That, that was not awesome. I'm... Wet. So, my plan is to actually do slightly lighter towards the edge of the shore. Then, I'm going to try this. We're going to do darker. Mm, I kind of want to slide it a little bit more towards the green. Like, really create quite a murky, murky water in there. Yeah, let's do something like that. And layers-wise, let's create a new layer and let's color underneath this. Wait, are we doing blaming game? What are we doing? Who are we blaming? You can't blame Phantom Jen. By the way, Phantom Jen is going to be on the stream next month. She's going to be one of our guests. I might try to have Jack on at the same time, because those two get along so well, I could probably book them off and just leave them to it. 
Oh, I can't do this because I colored underneath this already. Oh, you bugger. Ah, you son of a gun. Okay, so I can't do that. So let's get rid of that. All right, well, we'll just have to do it this way. The old-fashioned way. I'm trying to color the same way I used to color, and it doesn't work that way now. No. The Jen and Jack Power Hour. And those two together are a bloody power hour, believe me. It's going to be a thing next February. February 4th, I think? Mark it on your calendars. The Genster is going to be right here on the channel with us. Team Jen and Jack, J2. So, actually, if you've not figured this out, we're going to have a guest probably most weeks, just so you know. And that's our plan, like, for the rest of the year. We're going to have a guest once a week. I'll still work on the map, but we're going to talk about our guest projects. We're going to talk about just them anything maybe we'll come up with some crazy questions for us for them maybe we'll even hit up some of those question books and we'll throw out some random things for them and we'll have fun i want to get steven chenault on here from troll lord we're going to talk about this map and some of the secret projects that we've been talking about i'm going to have the main project lead from the Cropolis from for God Games. And while I'm working on the Cropolis, we'll have the man himself with us. So it's gonna be fun. We're gonna have some fun times ahead. Actually, uh, 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 Pex, put down Midwest Miniature Guy if we haven't got him on the list already. Yeah, I've done two beans tonight. Both were awesome. I'm not doing another. I was a bit cocky about it. Hey, two good beans. Don't try and take that away from me. You're literally taking it away from me. Alex Vixen had a little rant. Princess Drega, I gotcha. Though I will say that there were only two good things from Whitaker's Doctor. One is the companion Graham, featured, uh, played by Bradley Walsh, and the Recon Daleks junk rigged suit. Oh, I need to check that out. I mentioned Graham as a lot of fans would rather have him as a doctor than Whitaker and would love an episode leading to a good doctor, emphasis on good, who sees an, uh, a good doctor who, who, a doctor who sees a Nocopaldi's doctor regenerating into Graham, sitting up and saying, I just had a terrible nightmare. All right, okay. That's not a rant. That's not a rant. That's some fair comment. I'm not... <laughs> Fucking Phantom Jen is shoving beans down my throat. No. No. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Let me actually make this bush a little bit larger for this purpose here. All right, so I've got a, a smudge tool going on right now. Just to try and blend these a little bit. And remember, this is going to be our foundation color. It's not the final by any stretch. 
But I think it'll be a good baseline for us to build upon. This is already looking pretty, pretty interesting. Princess, my darling, my darling. So one thing I admire about you, Princess, is you're actually pretty clear on the things that inspire you in life and that you enjoy in life. Namely, movies. And I love how dedicated you have been in several respects. You have been dedicated to watching movies you've not seen before and reporting on them after you've done it. Regular as clockwork too. So many people would just fall out of the habit. Not you, mom. Not you. And I love that. And I also love, nothing to do with movies, but dedicated related, how dedicated you've been to your own diet. And how the weight has been uh, falling off you. You've got great reason. I know you've got huge, let's call it inspiration to do it. But that isn't like a lot of people do but you do it girl and i admire that Any, anyone that is a doer instead of just talking about it huge props and you get huge props from me no you don't eat a wheel of gouda <laughs> no 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 <laughs> bad girl jesus oh my god <laughs> Oh, Phantom Jen. So, actually, true fact about me. I can actually kick pretty high if I'm kicking in a certain way. I can't do a side kick to save my life. But I can do a crescent kick or an axe kick and get it well over head height pretty comfortably. However, I actually don't think I could get my foot underneath my hood. Because I think my foot, because I've got pretty long pins. I actually think my legs, I think my foot would be above my head. And then I would kill myself in trying to get my hoodie off. I would. And yes, I can't even get over a lamp cord. Allah, Allah, Allah. Yes, I would break my face in that type of challenge. I would. And in fact, okay, so hold on a sec, all of you. I'm going to try and do this without revealing any sort of POI. Uh, POI? POI? Point of interest? No. PII. Personal information. So hold on a sec. Alright. I'm going to show you what everyone's talking about here. Okay. Let me do that. Let me just take this out. Let me actually shrink this down to... Some kind of size. Can I actually even... Here you go. I could do it this way. Right, so what they're talking about is this. Let me see if I can actually get it paused at an appropriate place. This was originally on TikTok. Well, okay, and... What the challenge is that they want me to do is this. All right. Young lady doing this. That's me. That, 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 that's what I would do. Right there. And that would probably be the result. Huh? Huh? Who? Huh? Help. Help. Help me. Help me! Oh! Finish her! That's what they're talking about. Alright. Oh, this Dalek is, um. Recon Dalek? I love the Daleks, by the way. They're, they're such classics. What makes that a recon Dalek? 
Lordelli is absolutely acrobatic. Absolutely. Apparently, I'm going to have to get limber so I could do that. Because I think Phantom Jane is going to insist upon it when we all start getting together at the next cons. <laughs> Will you back off? I wouldn't get involved with fire. Because I know what I would be like with fire. I would literally be a torch running through the hotel. I, I know this. I, I'm... True story. Jack and I had to replace our dishwashing machine because of me trying to do a circle spinning kick in... No, no. That was something else. But yeah, we, uh, me, I, I, I've done stupid things. And we lost a dishwasher because of one... And Jack has a scar about five inches long because of another one. These are true facts. Suffice to say, trying to do a spinning kick in the kitchen is harder than it seems. All right, let's do um, let's do have a little bit of fun. Let's. What have we got? We're about at the end of the stream, but let's do a couple of buildings and let's do a couple of trees. Let's do it. Who said Jack can't handle a butter knife? Oh, I've on the smudge tool still. Oh, that's stupid. Hold on. Actually, yeah, Jack can't handle a butter knife. I forgot he posted about that. At least that wasn't me stabbing him now. Jen. Fun fact about that one, by the way, when Jack actually came upstairs and we were downstairs watching movies or whatever. And he cut himself. He cut himself pretty damn good. He never told me. He just wrapped himself up and he came downstairs and he ate whatever he was eating. And it was, it was only the following day. And I woke up and was like, what's up with your hand? That's what he told me. Alex Fixon on the uh, the recon Dalek. Dalek scout who landed on Earth in the 9th century. It was beaten and cut into three parts and its suit destroyed. In the episode, it manages to be reassembled and built a fully combat ready Dalek suit out of the materials and junk it found in the disused smithy. That's the recon Dalek. Oh, you see, that actually seems really cool. I like that. Was it still an adversary? I'm just going to do these trees and these buildings in this area here. I'm not going to get too carried away. I just want to see what it looks like. And then we will resume on this map next Monday. <laughs> now, Alex Vixen, that was a Jodie um, Jody, Jody Whittaker episode. Seems like a fun episode. That 
that's looking like the ticket. Okay, and then what we do is we're going to give it a drop shadow. And we're going to be uh, pretty aggressive with this. Let's give it a, an opacity of more like 50-ish. Thereabouts. That height actually isn't too bad. Let's just give it a little bit more. Let's just give it a little bit more. Yeah, let's give it that. Nice. I, that shit starts to pop off the map immediately. Look at that. We've done nothing. We've done nothing. And that stuff literally is... Oh, that looks so good. Alex Vex and Ebordovich made me spit out my whiskey. Holy crap. It was one of the highlights. Spoiled only by Whitaker being in it. Damn, girl. Damn. All right. This one is going to be our buildings layer. So we could do a similar thing with the drop shadows. And we'll do we'll do these couple of buildings in this area. Just so we can see what it's going to look like. The, the river's a, a pretty good baseline. I think, uh, I think it's looking pretty good. I think it's looking pretty good. Wow, Alex Vixen is on fire. It's impressive that a Dalek had more emotional range than Whitaker. Damn. Damn. Oh. That's brutal. You see, now I want to watch an episode with Whitaker. Just to sort of experience that for myself. Damn. Let's give that a whirl. Let's see what these look like. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to copy the layer style. Oops, I just cleared it. Let's undo that. I'm going to copy this layer style. I'm going to paste it onto the building layer. And then we're actually going to tweak this somewhat. So it looks taller. Seki of the Mo. Yeah, I, I actually want to keep the distance in a little bit. I'm going to make the size be more like 20. And the spread. Yeah, that's what it needed. More like that. 
Maybe distance. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we'll try that. Now, because it's a layer style, we can tweak it if we need to. There we go. There we go. So when we come back to this map, we're just doing a lot of that. We're going to color all of the trees and all of the buildings. And we're going to shoot for that being our next Monday night stream. Which means on Tuesday, I could shoot for trying to get all of the groundwork done. I think we'll be in business. I think the village will look zem with a little sprinkle of the sex. I think I think that's gonna be good. I love my trees. I love my trees. I love how they always come out like an emerald lovely cuddle ball. Princess Stringer says I think the cabin by the lake is supposed to have a blue roof. Um that one, that, oh, so I think that one, Princess, is actually there. So we haven't coloured that one yet. I think we're good. I think we're good. Who's bringing the glitter? I'm going to bring the glitter. I'm bringing glitter. Actually, so, um... Not a true story about me. I have this wonderful, wonderful dress. It is black with a glitter silver pattern all over it. It's maybe my favorite dress I ever wear. And I've only worn it a few times because it's very scapow. Full length. Sweeps the floor. I love it. I love it. And every time I wear it, it literally looks like a fairy took a shit everywhere. Because there is glitter everywhere I go, wherever I sit, wherever I walk, whatever I touch has glitter on it. And yet the dress never seems to lose any glitter. It is a wonderful dress that destroys everything with glitter. It is a glitter bomb. <laughs> it is magic. It is magic. And I still love it. I haven't actually had an excuse to wear it in more than 10 years. But it's like... I think Jack and I went to, like, a play once, an opera or something. It was kind of high class. And I think it was the last time I wore anything like that. Actually, Ally, are you, you're right. Wouldn't it be wonderful to actually have an, an excuse, like, for all of us to, like, just dress to the nines? Like, kapow like Oh, I would love to break out something like that. It's it's a look that you've never seen from me, like, ever. You've never even seen me in a dress. I'm going to do something about that. But it's like, I love wearing that damn thing. God. A fan of Jen. Yeah, okay, we'll blame Jack on that one. Fair enough. Fair enough. All right. So this is a good, good, good point. For us to end the stream. And while we do end the stream. I am going to see if I can play this in the background. And can I do this on repeat? I'm going to put this on repeat. Because I want to thank every single one of you Patreon subscribers. I want to thank all of you Twitch subscribers. You have been magnificent. You truly have been and you empower me to just keep on going. I love your support, all of you. Uh, in fact, every single person in the chat tonight, thank you so much for hanging out. Because this this is it. This is what we got, right? And um, it grounds me. I get so demoralized during the day. I get so demoralized just in general. I get on I get on here with Twitch with you, all of you. And I don't think of any woe in the world. And it's all because of you. So thank you for that. Really. That, that starts to get emotional right there. So with that said, we are back tomorrow night. And we are going to be working on Necropolis. And we will have Mark Reed from Noble Dwarf with us. I'm just going to be working on the map in the background. We're going to be talking to Mark about 
what Noble Dwarf has planned in Q1 of this year. So come join me for a very different project. A battle, a battle map sized dungeon. Egyptian style. And I'm drawing it 90 inches. 90 inches in size. Okay, it is freaking huge. So if you just want to even see this thing, pop in, take a look at it. You will not be disappointed. So until then, I love you all so much. So much. I'm going to see you on the flip side. Much love to every single one of you, including Jen. Looking forward to us streaming together, young lady. I'll see you tomorrow. Necropolis and Noble Dwarf. See you then.